Hello to all you lovely human beings and welcome back to a brand new Cursed Out Spawn PK video. Today we are talking about the summer event that just came out. It is absolutely beautiful, but before we get into that, a couple things. First of all, there's going to be a surprise at the end of this video, which is going to be super sick, so you want to stick around for that. And second of all, we have a 3 trail giveaway on this video, so stay tuned to the end to learn how you can apply for that. But without further ado, folks, let's get into this update review. The Summer's End event. It's late, but it's finally here. The Summer's End event will last until September 30th. There's a world boost of 25% tokens and plus 25% event superior chances until September 1st. So, you know, you want to get in here ASAP, folks. But there is the Summer Gnome Hunting as our, our worldly event this time. You wrangle summer gnomes that are causing havoc around the entire wilderness. Gnomes drop a sub-currency called the Summer Seashells used to purchase weapon upgrades and event hunting trinkets. So let's start here at the little event hub. So the way to get the, the weapons for the event, right? You go to this little tent here. It's called Little Tent. Uh, and then you, you go here to the starter summer bow. You grab that. Let's see how this thing looks first. Well, this is the first bow that you'll get in the set. Very nice. Matches our fit. And the second one will be the Strong Summer Bow, which deals two times more damage than the Starter Bow. We'll buy one of those. Quick Summer Bow, which is an attack speed that's plus two takes faster than the Starter Bow, which is super great. The Lucky Summer Bow, which is plus one faster and 25% uh, a, a drop rate increase against event NPCs and bosses, so super good there. And the Greedy Summer Bow, which gives you 10% extra tokens on each of them. There's also these accumulators out. Uh, each of which have their own special effects, or not own, but you know, increased special effects. Plus 10% tokens and 5% damage, plus 25% tokens and 10% damage, and plus 35% tokens and 15% damage. So we'll buy all three of these right here. And then there's the Ultra Summer Bow, which has all of these bows effects. So if you complete all this up to here, you're getting so, so, so many tokens with such fast DPS. It's kind of crazy. There's also the Summer Shell Crusher, which is, you know, you use on one of these and you get some nice summer tokens. Um, these are all super good bows. And this is where you want to start out with this event. Look at me looking baller as hell. I'm looking baller with that one, honestly, but it's fine. It's okay. You know, we do what we can to survive. Um, we've got all this stuff here. These are all the things that you need to hunt the of the imps, which are all around the wilderness. You you scavenge and you try to get as many tokens as you can. It's just a beautiful thing. There's a rare chance of finding harvest chickens as well. Uh, it's, it's like the gilded eggs from the spring event. Uh, it gives you just a, a bunch of tokens. Uh, there's common, uncommon, and rare gnomes, each having respectively better drop rates, of course. So let's take a little look here. So, so uh, on the commons, you know, grand prize keys, prize keys are the best, as usual. Uh, same with the unco uncommons, but you know, better regular loot here. For rares, uh, have an even more increased chance. And there's also the superiors. Superiors are great. 1 out of 50 for a prize key, 1 out of 250 for a grand prize key, 1 out of 75 for epic pet box, 1 out of 100 for blood chest, and a chance at a dragon upgrade scroll, which is like. I mean, you guys know, it's, it's an expensive, expensive item. So if you grab yourself a superior, you always have that chance of getting that there. Dragon upgrades will pretty sick in my opinion. Superior spawns are also increased by the uh, by blood orbs, as they usually are. This is how the little gnomes look, they're very cute. Uh, there's also the summer spotlights. This is super cool, this is a brand new thing that I, I think we haven't done before. Uh, the vacation gnome is a list of tasks for you to complete during the summer event. Uh, you have 15 achievements that you have to complete in order to unlock the event activity. Each task grants you a different reward, so you'll be able to receive a grand prize of 100k event tokens for completing all the tasks. That's a lot of money. So, you know, you complete all this, you get you get a huge, huge, huge reward. Pretty sick. Uh, you can read these, pause them if you want to, to see all these things, but it's doable. It's, it's legitimately doable. It's hard. Very, very hard to complete everything here, but, you know, it's possible. Um, there's PK activities, extra tokens for PK, top 3 in, in Hunger Games, top 3 in Elements. And PK also grants, uh, grants tokens. There's also the Volcanic Hydra, which is a safe boss that spawns every four hours. Summer Worm, which is a wildy boss for two hours. Um, if you survive and deal damage, you get a drop. You also get tokens for the daily money-making activities. This is a Summer Brawl Wage, which happens a bunch. And then let's talk about the, the event pet, Tiny Volcanic Hydra Pet. This pet's pretty sick. It's from the, uh, the event chest, from the tier two of it. Has a chance to spit lava, which inflicts burn, which is, we've never had before. Dealing three damage every two ticks for 12 ticks, so very, very good. Um, and that's just the, the tiny version, I'll show you guys the big one. A chance to get it, uh, the spit is sealed on your attack speed, I didn't know that. The burn effect will cancel out bleeding, so you can only bleed or burn, so it's not, you know, too unbalanced. And there's also the pet enchantment, which is the volcanic hydra pet, which is, you know, just a bigger version. Uh, you basically get it from enchanting the tiny volcanic hydra at a 10% success rate. Uh, basically the, the same as, as the tiny one, but the burn is longer, so pretty great. And then there's, there's the event fusion pet, this one's pretty sick. The ancient hydra pet. This pet is obtained by fusing 10 blood hydra pets 
50 Agent Guardian Pets, and one Volcanic Hydro Pet. So if you have Blood Hydro Pets, they have gone way, way, way up. If you're an old player who hasn't played in a while and you're like, huh, this is a cool video, and watch this, and you see the Blood Hydro Pets are here, they're worth a shit ton. One just sold for 7.5 trill like an hour ago. I don't know when this is going to be posted, but like they are going for a lot, a lot of money, and it's fantastic. It has a burning spit effect uh, and the d disease effect of the Blood Hydra. Um, it hits ignore 33% of enemy defense, 50% of the opponent, if the opponent is diseased, 75% of the opponent is burned. So, you know, it basically smacks through a tank. Um, hits have a 50% chance to bypass damage soak. So, like, if somebody has a bloat, you just hit right through that shit. Look, look how pretty it is. Look, look, look at that boy. He's just spitting fire. He's spitting bars because he's a rapper. You know every Hydra's a rapper. This is actually super sick. Shout out to Ryan for giving me access to this. Uh, we've got the tiny volcanic hydro pet here. So, we, you, can, you can see what it looks like. Wait, that's the tiny? Whoa, 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 that thing is huge. What is what is the what does the regular one look like? Yo, that's gorgeous. Level 426, very, very pretty. And let's look at the ancient hydra pet now. Oh my god, it's it's really pretty. I really quite like it. I think this thing's gonna be a very, very expensive pet. It's super duper good. Wow, really shout out to Ryan for just having these on the box test account. Very, very helpful. They're all very pretty. I did want to take a second to look at these summer chests. Uh, there's these new boots here, the summer vacation boots, which give plus five percent damage and accuracy bonus in PvP or PVM, two point five percent in PvP. So like, if you're if you're going range, you might as well use the vacation boots. You know, these are very very good boots. They're they're brand new. Uh, I love the idea. You know, it gives it, it gives variety to just the the normal e boots meta. That's pretty sick. Um, I'm just gonna spam this, I think, and then we'll we'll go to the bank and I'll, and we'll, we'll take a peek at I, honestly this is what I wanted to see. Um, but a bunch of cool stuff here. Very nice. We have some other cool stuff to look at as well. For funsies, let's see if we get anything here. No, we didn't. Good. I'm glad that wasn't on the main. But I did want to take a peek at some other stuff that's over here. Because, you know, there's a lot to go over, but, you know, I think it's pretty cool for you guys to see, like, content that you wouldn't normally see. Let's look at the Summer Cosmetic Shop. These are brand new. The Orange Summer Party Hat. 50,000 Summer Tokens. This is an expensive party hat. The Summer Santa Hat, 35k. Orange Scarf is 25k tokens. We have that, we have that. These are new, though. The shorts are kind of really fun. So let's, let's take a peek at these new cosmetics. Got this little scarf here, a little hat to match. Little, little beach shorts, I'm hella cute now. Come on, the sun shorts, I'm hella cute now. There's also the event coin shop. These are, this is interesting, because I don't think we've ever had this, this kind of color here. We've got the harvest flippers, harvest kite shield, all these really cool new cosmetics. Harvest party hat, and the new icon looks really cool too. That's a bunch of summer vintage castles. We'll, we'll, we'll buy 10 to open just real quick. But let, let's take a look at this new icon. Look at that. It's, it's, it's genuinely pretty. The party hat, the slippers, I dig it. I really dig it, honestly. Um, we don't have a lot of like this color green in the game, so it's it's pretty sick to see. Um, and for fun, let's open up ten of these. See what we get. Again, we, we don't have a, a falcon right now. And look at that, we got a lunar dead body. Um, pretty sick. I'm, I'm liking I'm liking the coin shop. And just for fun, I do want to try out just because we can. I want to try out getting a volcanic hydro pet. Let's see if we can get it. Go to pets and accessories. Boom boom. Can we get a, a big one? A big boy? No. And oh shit, we did. On the, on the one out of three. All right. Well, we got our own little Volcano Hydra pet. That's very lucky. I'm sad I that wasn't on the main because uh, I'm definitely going to do a bunch of attempts at these and I'm definitely not going to get one in three. But I digress. Let's go back to the update. So this is this is very, very interesting. I'm excited about this. So seasonal pet fuse boxes. They're available for a limited time only. During the summer's end event, pet fuse boxes received from promotional items will be the pet fuse box seasonal variant. While the event is active and during the event only, there is a very rare chance to receive an unholy behemoth pet. It must be a seasonal box. There's a limit of three that can enter the game. So let me give you guys an idea of this. The last unholy behemoth pet that sold, sold for a quadrillion GP. One quadrillion GP. That's like, I don't know how much you have to donate for that. You have to donate so, so ridiculously much to get one quadrillion GP. This thing is incredibly valuable. There's a limit of one pull per player, so you know, one person can't get all three, that's how it works. But very, very sick, and the surprise that I was talking about is that I actually managed to get my hands on these. I opened up five regular promo packages and like five grand promos. I got one, one pet fuse, and I wanna open it for you guys at the end of the video. But let's, let's continue going over this. Uh, there's some 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 buffs here to certain things. Virtus Eye has been buffed. Um, uh, Ancient Godsword's now 50% spec. 
so that's pretty nice. Uh, a lot of stuff has been added to the blog hole, but that's not what this is. Uh, Mystic Chat's been fixed, nice. Uh, Old Easter Cowboy Queen was fixed. Uh, Blood Slayer Tent now is a requirement of 40 for defense, so pure is now riskable again. Added proper door mechanics to rogues. Uh, stock item upgrade increases the stock of items. Uh, so that's great. Uh, what else here? Server lag's been reduced, which is great. Oh, this is so nice. Increase the max bank boost from 1750 to 2000. Uh, and if you're wondering about any, any of the blood core stuff, all of it's listed right here. If you want to pause and see for yourself what's been buffed, that is the place to do it. I'm so excited, y'all. I really, really, really want to get to this pet fuse. Oh, I also do want to say before, before this happens. Um, so I will be releasing uh, a bank video, finally, that will be coming. Uh, I'll also be going over all of my customs. For those of you who are wondering, that is uh, probably another extra video coming. On top of, we will be doing loot from 1,000 Summer Vintage Caskets 2022. That'll be, I think, two videos from now, but I'm not totally sure. Hopefully, it'll be soon. Uh, but that will be happening, so stay tuned for that. And folks, let's get back to the main so we can look at this pet fuse box. So those of you who know me, you know I love opening boxes. But this, this is the most important box I've ever opened. We can get ourselves an Unholy Behemoth. Let's see what the chat says. Wish me luck. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Pet Fuse Box Seasonal. What do we get? Aww. Unfortunate. What a rip. Could have been a Holy Behemoth. Unfortunately, it is a Holy Phoenix pet. Yes, the Fs are deserved, but that's okay. It was all in a lot of fun. So, folks, uh, that's got to be it, me, it for me this time. We've got a lot more summer content coming. I'm definitely going to do a live stream. I'm currently on vacation, but I figured I'd get this video out to you guys because it's a fun one to get. Uh, and it's, you know, I like to keep my people informed. But uh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be streaming when I get back. Um, and yeah, expect more videos to come. Hopefully I'll get more fuse boxes. We can open them on stream, that, that sort of fun stuff. But folks, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate every single last one of you. I know a lot of you don't like this kind of video and a lot of you love it. So for those of you who love it, thank you for being here. And those of you who don't, you're probably not watching. So to you, thank you very much, guys. I love every single last one of you. You're beautiful. You deserve a big old kiss. Mwah. That's not normally my outro. Anyways, this is a mess. Thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate every single last one of you. Cursed out, signing out. Goodbye.